So, start with a deadlift. This is a very basic exercise, but one you want to do a lot of because you want these muscles to be strong. Add to that a bent over reverse fly with deadlift. So what that means is just you're standing up after every bent over reverse fly to work your upper and lower back. And this is what that looks like from a different angle from the front. Now for shoulder press, you're going to be doing a single arm shoulder press with side bend. So you're alternating arms and then stretching that side and bending to work your core. Same with lat raises. Now most people do their lat raises symmetrically. We want to do them one arm at a time so the obliques and the core gets a better workout. This I like to call the dumbbell ceremony. With arms outstretched and elbows slightly bent, pass the dumbbell across the front, uh, right across your chest, and then take it in a loop, either clockwise or counterclockwise. And you're going overhead and then back across the front. After you've made the loop one direction, do an equal number going the opposite direction. Now a dumbbell pullover is very simple. You just don't want to touch the dumbbells uh, down on the bench or in this case the board and bring them up till they're just over your chest. Uh, bicep curls are something you can do either a full rep or you can do just sort of a partial curl because that's the range of the muscle you're going to feel most when paddle boarding. For tricep extensions, um, both arms are working together and you're using one dumbbell, but if your head and chin are pushed forward into your chest, your lats are too tight to do this exercise. Wrist curls are where you let the dumbbell roll all the way down into your fingertips, then curl your fingertips up into a fist and curl that fist up. And you also want to do that palm down where you feel it in the back of your forearm.